right now, ATF has 248 NIBIN sites around the country, and the agencies that contribute their evidence through those NIBIN sites only represents about 30% of the law enforcement organizations. We got a long way to go. Can you only imagine what it would be like when the remaining approximately 70% were all contributing their, their evidence to the system? I'm George Water. I'm ATF's Assistant Director for Field Operations. This facility is ATF's National Crime Gun Intelligence Center of Excellence here at Wichita State University. This facility uh, is poised to become ATF's premier site solely dedicated to the collection, analysis, and application of crime gun intelligence to cases, real crime cases throughout the United States. It seems like a long time, but this project actually moved quite quickly. I think we first started talking about uh, a crime gun center of excellence probably within the last two years. So relatively quick for a, a government project. But crime gun intelligence has been an evolution for ATF over the last 10 or so years. The center of excellence announcement is so incredibly uh, relevant at this time because this actually coincides with ATF's 50th anniversary. Uh, in 1972, we became an independent bureau, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and then again in 2003, the explosives was added. The first correlation center uh, ATF established is in Huntsville, Alabama. The National NIBIN Correlation and Training Center began in 2019. It began with 45 correlation review specialists reviewing approximately 100 correlations per day. It has tremendously evolved where over 100 correlation review specialists now review over 1,700 uh, correlations every single day. You cannot turn on the news uh, today and not see a story about violent crime. The reality is, is that violent crime is up across the United States. And a facility like this is incredibly important because the work that is going to be done here at the National Correlation Center, too, is uh, solving real-world firearms-related violent crime cases nationwide and perhaps even in Wichita. Wichita State University has one of the oldest criminal justice schools. In 2018, uh, Wichita State University and Wichita Police Department and ATF started the discussions about the prospects of allowing Wichita State University to acquire a Niven machine for the Wichita Police Department and surrounding areas as part of their criminal justice facility. It was a novel idea because at that time, all Niven sites were either law enforcement or laboratory sites. Partnering with academia is something that we recognize that can really grow our programs. It's a team effort, and I think largely in the past, academia has not been as close to these programs as perhaps they should be. So when we realized that they had a facility that may be coming available and how proactive and innovative they've been in the past, we thought that this would perhaps be a logical fit. Three-story building, approximately 54,000 square feet across all three floors. Now, this is on the first floor, and what people can expect to see here on the first floor is essentially correlation review. Imagine 100 correlation review specialists in here looking at images from crime scenes across the country. So now we're gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna show you the second floor where ATF's Crime Gun Intelligence Governing Board is gonna be housed. Uh, in addition, you will also see what will eventually become uh, the Center for Intelligence Analyst Trainings uh, in ATF nationwide. So this space here is largely gonna be comprised of training areas, conference rooms, and offices. Uh, imagine uh, some large-scale training for our new intelligence analysts and any other academies uh, related to our crime gun intelligence. We think the majority of, of guests to this facility will include uh, police department, executives and officers, sheriff's departments, federal agencies, wh whomever has a role in crime gun intelligence 
we anticipate hosting them here at the Center of Excellence. I think it would be fair to say that we always hoped we would have a facility like this, um, and here it is becoming a reality. The more correlation review specialists we have, the more work we can take on from police departments across the country. So we think uh, 200 correlation review specialists is a very healthy footprint. We anticipate that this correlation center in conjunction with correlation center in Huntsville will be able to accommodate every Niven site that we have and all future Niven sites that come on online. We look forward to the partnerships with academia because we think it really highlights our commitment to excellence and the dedication to ensuring that future generations are best situated to combat gun violence. As a result of being on campus, the opportunities are endless.